Hi friends, Scott Brookins. Um, wanted to share some lessons I learned from a blind man. Um, many years ago, my family and I were ministering in, uh, in the States, and on a Friday night, we were taken by the pastor of the church we were gonna be at that weekend, uh, taken to the place we were gonna stay for that, for that weekend. And um, he, he took us to the front door, he introduced us um, to uh, Brother Pete. And it wasn't Pete, uh, it wasn't Mr. Pete, it was Brother Pete. And um, at the time, um, at, this ch at his house, there was chaos going on at what it looked like. You know, our kids uh, were probably nine and six around that age. And uh, Pete's house was full of middle school and high school kids. And um, so we were told, and, and as we were introduced to Pete and told before him, but Pete was blind. He was legally blind. He hadn't been blind all of his life. Uh, that came probably, I think it was in his 20s or early 30s. Um, he got a disease and, and became blind, but, um, and he became one of my best friends. And unfortunately he passed away uh, suddenly about five years ago, I guess it was. Um, but anyway, Pete uh, welcomed us to his house. Um, he took us upstairs where we were gonna stay. And, and it was a cool place because it was an older home that was you know, built from a, a wealthy family years, you know, hundreds of years ago or hundred years ago. And uh, they had an elevator. So he made our kids ride the elevator upstairs, you know, which was an awesome treat. And then we came down and, and you know, this place was full of middle school and high school kids. Pete had a ministry to youth. Um, he had done this through many different churches over his lifetime. And uh, he was continuing that uh, independently a little bit, at, uh, I think at that time too. But uh, they were playing, you know, loud music, you know, Christian music. Uh, they were having, you know, Cokes and, and sodas and snacks to drink and eat. And they were playing pool and billiards and, you know, foosball and, and ping pong and just having a blast. And we, we jumped in and had some fun. And then, then we saw the main part of the evening was seeing these kids get so excited playing a game called Bible Wars. Pete had developed this game where he was teaching the Bible to these kids and made a game out of it and, and awarding, you know, a million points for the correct answer and the kids got all excited and, you know, he'd toss them a candy bar and, and it was just an amazing uh, evening um, to be with him and a whole weekend. And um, over time, you know, we stayed with him uh, many, many times in our travels. Uh, in fact, after that first weekend, he told me, he said, don't let me hear that you came into this part of the country and you didn't stay with me. And so we, we took him up on that and he became one of our dear friends. And I stayed with him uh, when I traveled, you know, uh, just by myself a few times too. And then um, after he married several years later to uh, Cindy, uh, the both of them opened their home to us. And then of course, Cindy's a dear friend also, but, um, you know, I learned a lot from Pete, um, got to know him over the years, and he would share his story. And, um, you know, there's three, three lessons that I wanna share that really I learned from Brother Pete. Um, one is that when he became blind, he didn't, uh, he didn't get bitter, he didn't get angry at God, he, he didn't have a pity party. Um, he took it in stride, um, you know, through the challenges of that and difficulties and, um, some things, but, um, you know, he took it at, this is where I'm at. What does God have me have in store for my life right now? And so, you know, he couldn't read the Bible. He couldn't read anything anymore. He could see shadows, he told me, but that, but that was it. And so he started to listen to the Bible on tape, you know, and so he memorized the Bible pretty much because he listened to it every uh, morning and, and throughout the day, he would just play it throughout his house and, and he memorized the Bible and that helped him as he went into the youth ministry and, and to really teach kids uh, how to serve Jesus Christ. And, um, and then the second lesson I learned, you know, Pete was a master woodworker uh, and it was amazing to see out in his shop, you know, he had the, uh, different saws and lace and it was, he just was so talented and he did it all by touch and feel and he just made amazing things. And, and but you know, he, he, he could show that y you never know your capabilities, you know, the obstacles you're gonna come across. And so um, that was a lesson. But the main lesson I learned from Brother Pete was uh, one day I was talking to him uh, about his blindness and 
And he said, you know, it's just been a blessing um, as I've u worked with youth and, and adults too. And I said, what do, you, what do you mean? How can how can that be a blessing? You can't see. And of course, I'm sure he would have wanted to see if, uh, uh, if that would have happened. But he said, you know, it's been a blessing because when I work with kids, I can't see them. All I can go on is their voice and how they treat me. And so I can't judge them on how tall or how short they are, if they're thin or wide, or if they're uh, blue or yellow or, or pink, it doesn't matter what color they are, boy or girl, braces, glasses, it doesn't matter. He couldn't see that. All he could see was their heart. And man, you know, that's a lesson for all of us. And that's probably the most important lesson I wanna share with you today is, as we look at one another, we need to not look at what they look like, you know, but look at what's in our heart, their heart. And, and as we reflect our lives to others, we need to be reflecting what's in our heart. And perhaps as you go through challenges and difficulties, be like Brother Pete, you know, look at the positive of it, be grat, you know, have gratitude for what we have in our lives and, and, it, and express that as, as we go on our day to day. And so I hope you'll uh, learn a couple lessons like I did from a blind man, uh, dear brother, uh, brother Pete, who I can't wait to see again in heaven. Please like and share this. Um, I think it'll give value to your friends and family. Go have an amazing day and inspire others to do the same. God bless.